Well, this is pretty much where we are this time last year when we shot a little video on, on a pipe tutorial and Robbie was showing me how to work these laws. Now, it was pretty tough going last year. Um, we did a lot of searching for the fish. We tried a lot of different laws and it was just this one law that worked. So here we are just over a year later in the same position to see if we can get a fish on a similar law. Is that right, Robbie? That's right. There's two new versions to the Gravity Twitch this year. You've got a new medium running version, which gets down that little bit deeper and has more of a crankbait action. And you've got some cool new limited edition colours, which I'm going to fish with. So you get the nice new deep one and I'll get the cool limited edition colours. Oh, excellent. So this is more or less the same colour as the, the one I was catching on last year. So uh, let's see if we can catch one, shall we? That's your favourite. <laughs> So it's a little bit of a flicky jerky action then? Yeah, you can wind or jerk that one, Ed. It's, um, it's very versatile. So mine being more shallow requires more of a jerk bait action, whereas yours having a deeper running vein can be wound like a crankbait. I think last year the slower action worked rather than the jerking action, so. It did, yeah. I'll work yeah, it quite just... slowly and see what happens, but. Uh, these medium runners actually sink, don't they? They do, so did the shallow. Um, they're both suspending. But the vein controls how deep they go. Yeah. So what's the tactic gonna be, Robbie? 10, 15 minutes in each spot and then move on? Or yeah, just keep grinding yeah. it out for a bit? So um, I'll just move us up another few yards once you've done that cast. Okay. So tell me about these new mid runners then, Robbie, and how they differ um, from the from the normal gravity twitches I was using last year. Well, they're quite similar um, in profile, almost identical weight, identical. The difference between these and the shallow runner is that vein there. This one's a lot more elongated, which means it's going to dive a little bit deeper. Okay. Um, so it's a much better bait for sort of cranking, more like a conventional crankbait, but you can fish it with those twitches and suspend it as well okay so whereas the other one was ideal in like five foot of water this one will be sort of much more at home in sort of eight to ten foot of water okay um so it opens up a load of options i've i have got a shallow runner on but i'm using a different variants on it so there's five limited edition colors in the shallow runner at the moment right okay. um some really cool patterns that totally add to the range um but I have a feeling this winter these deep running versions are going to produce a lot of fish for me. <laughs> certainly. Yeah. I mean, last time we were struggling in a few areas to get the law properly down to the bottom. So I'm guessing that, you know, if we find these deeper water bits and we want to use this law again and utilise this law, this will be the better version than the shallow one. Absolutely, yeah, for, for the deeper areas. Although it all depends on the day. Like last time, all we could get bites on was suspending jerks, wasn't it? And it was yeah. these shallow um, gravity twitches that did it. Today, it might be different. We may pick up a fish and we might have to rely on other tactics too. But by flashing these around, we'll certainly find fish quick and find the ones that are willing to feed. Yeah, 100%. So we'll, we'll give it a bit more of a go here because this was the key area last year. And uh, we'll move around, try these, try something else and... Uh See what happens, eh? Absolutely. Awesome. Let's have a couple more casts. So we're in the old perch basin from last year then, Robbie? Yeah, we are. Think there might be a few decent pike in here? Well, he's a hyper grebe. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I think I might have cast over the top of him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there'll be some pike kicking around here. Good to see a grebe working anyway. Yeah. Hey, yeah, shows a few bait um, fish. Not very shy, is he? He's right behind the boat. <laughs> Just um, just sat there saying hi. Do you think there's a decent chance of getting perch on laws like this? Yes, absolutely. Um, a lot of my winter perching's done on these twitch style jerk baits. Do you find that it depends on water temperature whether a perch will chase something like this or not? No, it's um, it depends on how you fish it really. If you um, if you twitch it and fish those long pauses, very often they'll rise in the water column to hit it. Sorry, I hit the bank then. <laughs> I'm not used to casting without clipping up. <laughs> no clip for you, Ed. 
So no clip. <laughs> <laughs> so perch prefer the long pauses rather than the continuous action? Yeah, sometimes they, they, they can chase. They can be quite aggressive when they want to be. Yeah, got one. Got one. Okay, back the drag off a little bit. You know, that's fighting more like a perch, that. Yeah, it's not kiting, is it? No. Well, it could be a big perch. It could be. Or it could be a jack. <laughs> It'll be one or the other, mate. I said I had a little rattle just the first cast through. Oh, there perch. you go, it's a perch. Woohoo! Woo In he goes, on your favourite colour as well, mate. Oh, wow, impressed with that. <laughs> there oh, we are. It come out in the net Hooks as well. out in the net. Awesome. Oh, and there's a drop shot thing on it as well. Yeah. Wicked. How big is that, you reckon? Oh, he's um, about 10 ounces or so. There we go. Oh, let's have a little look at him. Got some <laughs> nice autumn leaves in there. Happy with that. Nice little perch on the mid runner. It's not the pike I was hoping for, but uh, it's a nice little fish nonetheless. So we're off the mark for the session. So let's uh, let's put him back and see if we can get another one. There we go, on your favourite chrome head. Yeah, I might, uh, <laughs> might stick to that lot. <laughs> I think we bought more than one of them this time. <laughs> let's slip him back. Oh, up he goes. Nope, there we go. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All good. Right, Robbie's just moved us down to pretty much where I've hooked that perch from. So we're going to have a little explore and see if there's a few more fish down here. Whether there is or not, I don't know. I mean, it could have been that, that fish that gave me the bite on that first cast, and then I caught it on the second, or it could be that there's a shoal down here. We'll see. Yeah, it's quite difficult to describe exactly what a bite feels like, but it's more of a little kind of rattle rather than just a dead stop if it hits the bottom or hits some weed or something like that. It's, uh, it's very distinctive even from a shy biting perch when you're on braid. Not that I'm the expert in this at all. I mean, Robbie knows a hell of a lot more about perch fishing and law fishing than I do. Oh, there we go. You got one? Yeah. Oh, I mean. nice one, mate. Let me crank mine in then. There's a pike. Oh, it's a decent pike. Yeah. All right, we better get that big net ready. Yep, no worries, mate. I'm on it. Ah, he's off. Oh, you're joking. No. Well, there we go. <laughs> Well, it shows they work. Yeah. It shows this fish here, so I think it's worth plugging away, do you think? Yeah, absolutely. So when you when you hook a, a pike like that in an area like this, well, do you think there'll be one down here, or do you think there'll be several? Hopefully a couple. Okay. Let's, um, let's get another one. Yeah, I'm curious in case there's any, there's a small perch. While well, Ed's fishing the bigger bait, I've just swapped over to a little craft cannibal just to see um, what's sitting underneath this shoulder bream. Hopefully he'll persevere and get a big one on that and I'll um, clean out all the wasps with this. <laughs> you enjoy wasping, don't you, Ed? No, not really, mate, no. <laughs> I've always preferred catching big fish rather than loads of little ones. But there's a lot, there's a lot of something here. I'm getting a lot of rattles. There's a lot of small perch down here. You think that's what it is, just having a go? Yeah. There we go. <laughs> get me. So when you get loads of little perch like that then, Nobby, does that mean there isn't too many big ones around or will there be the odd big one sitting in there? There could be the odd big one in with them. I think it's just a case of... Um, 
working through it. Like you'd, you sort of hope that um, a bigger shad or a jerk bait will bring them up. Like those guys would explain some of the little um, tentative rattles that we had. There we go. We're getting quite a few small perch on um, the little paddle tail. So we switched to a slightly smaller size of the Gravity Twitch medium runner to try and sort out a better one from the shoal. But I think the 95 was just a little bit too big for those fish. Yeah, I was getting loads of rattles on the drag through, but I'm not hooking into anything. So so that's not really that much. It's not really that much bigger than the little cannibal shad that I was fishing a minute ago to, to explore what was beneath those bream. So yeah. I think... Um, I think you'll um, pick up a couple on that. Let's have a go. It's unbelievable how many fish are down there. Every run through I'm getting loads of little taps and I think it's, some of it's perch attacking the law. Um, and it sounds like some of it's the law just bouncing over the top of bream and little bait fish that's down there. Uh, it's just there's a lot of fish down in that basin. I'm hoping there might be a decent sized perch down there or even a pike. What do you think Robbie? Do you think there's a chance of a big old pike down there? Um, I think there'll be more move through. Because, you know, I would have thought that that pike you hooked further up was just sort of sitting down here waiting for this shoal to come out and just picking off the uh, the ends of it. What do you think? The odd stray one, yeah, I'd agree with that. Oh, yeah, that's a proper one. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Nice one, mate. I'll crank this in. Is it perch? Yeah. Oh, nice. He's in that. Uh, no, I could swing him. <laughs> but yeah, it shows there's bigger mutt ones amongst them, so if we can keep working that gravity twitch, we might sort out an even bigger one through using a slightly more aggressive lure. So what do you think, Robbie? Is it worth just trying to grind it out here for a bigger perch or a pike, or do we move on to try and get something a bit bigger? Um, I think it's worth persevering because there should be more predators come through the area, especially like triggering sort of disturbance and upsetting a few fish. We should, um, but I think as the lighting levels change, we'll then go on the hunt again. perch on a shad. Should just about to be able to swing him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Ed! Double oh. little hook up. <laughs> it's not the biggest in the world, but hopefully a few of his bigger brothers are out there. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too many pike kicking around at the minute. So we've uh, switched onto the little shads. And Robbie's put me on this uh, nice little cannibal with a, is it a five gram weight, Robbie? Yeah, five gram. So we're just gonna have a go and uh, see if we can get a better perch. <laughs> That's a slightly better one, Ed. Yeah, unfortunately it came off. Oh, you, you got go. that one? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Oi. <laughs> How big do you reckon he is? Oh, he's um, he's not he's not huge, but they're going in the right direction at least. <laughs> a very angry one, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's got to be a two pounder sitting out here. Yeah, or even a nice pound and a half. -er. Well, that's it. Or a pound fifteen ounce. -er. You keep promising me a two, Rob. You've not brought me one yet. <laughs> Oh, we've got some blue skies as well, so that might, uh, oh. that might change things. That's um, gone in the opposite direction. Nope. I just say that's raining heavier now. It certainly is. It's certainly productive down here. Yeah. 
a good number of fish. You think this cold snap's just sort of pushed him into this one little basin? Possibly, yeah. I don't think there's as many fish holding up in here at the moment as what we'd like. But no. We've found a few down this little end. Yeah. I mean, we've not really mentioned the, um, the salt surge that's happening right now. Oh, gosh, yeah. The barrier's shut on the marina at the moment with, um, with another big salt surge. We're actually trapped in here for a little while on this boat. <laughs> is it it passes? Yeah. I just hope there's not too many casualties through this one. It's been um, been getting worse each year here on the broads. A bit of wasp. Yeah. Oh, got one. This might have to be a perch as well. Mm -hmm. We doubled. We doubled, Ed. We have, mate. Oh, oh. fell off. Oh. Seems we know, we know. Well, <laughs> the law was probably a little bit too big for him. Yeah, I'm cheating with a right. smaller. The law was definitely too big for him. <laughs> but I'll persevere for a bit longer to try and get something a little bit bigger, even though it's very much hard work. Right, give me a smaller look. Plop. <laughs> Here we go. We'll, we will go for identical lures and identical weights. Right. And as the fishing's been so hard today, Ed, should we do a first to first to how many? Two. <laughs> Two. Well, if we say 10, we might not catch 10. We probably won't catch 10. I probably won't catch 10. <laughs> Should we go for five? Yeah, first, go on to, first five. to five. First to five. Yep. I'll better put the jig head on properly for you. Give you a fighting chance. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that you're the expert at this and I'm the carp angler, so it's... Uh, okay. okay. I, I have no illusion that, uh, head start? <laughs> that I'm going to lose this. But just imagine if I don't, though. Just imagine how embarrassing that would be for you. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. No no casting until the count of three. One, two. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. These fly, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I couldn't, couldn't reach the, um, <laughs> couldn't reach the blank. <laughs> They're down there, I need to optimise my time in the main area. Oh, so the boat is sabotaged dead perfectly. Yeah. I'm at a major disadvantage. You're a lot closer to the shoulder than me. Come on. There's <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. I think this is a perch. I'd say that is a perch. It's not a very big perch, but it's a perch. Right. Oh, no. One all. I've, um, I've lost our lure. Oh, dear. <laughs> I've, um, 
I'm in trouble here. Without without the winning lure. How am I possibly going to keep up? Yes, here we go. <laughs> mm, this one feels a bit heavier. That one is going yeah. a bit better. What the hell's this? It's a perch. Does that count? No. That does not count. <laughs> Counts. Two. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> You've blooded to my on purpose, haven't you? <laughs> yes. Ah, there's a legitimate two. I haven't landed it yet. I'm good at losing these. Come on. right in the zone. All them fish are within sort of two rod, rod lengths of that far bank, maybe three rod lengths. There's nothing up kind of beyond that and near the boat, so the bite zone's down there. So if I'm not getting them on the first little drag throw, I might as well just crank in and cast again. And Rob's got a major advantage being in front of the boat. Major advantage. It's a major advantage. You mean the like two feet between our two rods. Yeah, but I'm going to cast past you. Oh. Do you think he wanted that vital organ? I think this might be a bit. <laughs> Three. I don't know, This is a close competition to catch wasps. Yes. Oh, there we go. No. It's not fighting much like a... No, it isn't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This this is just... <sighs> You've caught more of them than you have perch in the last um, <laughs> couple of hours. I don't know how you're managing it, mate. I think it's the side I'm fishing. I think, I think I'm on the bream side, you're on the perch side. Oh no, they've both gone in. Are you just going to pick it up when... Um... Ah, you f***ing little cunt. I hate bream. I bet yours ain't a bream. No. It's a fix. <laughs> I think I've lost this in about 20 seconds. Here we go. Oh, it lost it. No. That had caught me up. Me lost now. I think I had one on, but it was that small. Yeah, they're, they're getting really, really, really small now. We've probably had about 50 out of this little um, basin. Well, the engine was trying to sabotage both of us there. That just went a bit crazy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you. That's three I've lost now on the bounce. <laughs> They're too. I think I think they might be too small. Oh, here's number five. Leader touch. Well done, Robbie. <laughs> I'd have been with a skip shout if I hadn't lost those uh, three on the bounce then. But never mind. <laughs> it's all good fun. And I landed that on a bent hook look jig head that I snagged on the way out there. <laughs> oh, here we go. No I'm, excuses. I'm going to end up on one. So yeah, it's been a pretty tricky day's filming. Um, especially with the salt surge and I just don't think, by the sounds of it, the bigger fish are feeding. These small ones obviously are. One last cast. Well, that was an interesting day's fishing in, well, very, very changeable weather. <laughs> it was certainly hard. One minute we had rain, almost sleet, and um, now it's lovely sunshine. But the fishing's been really slow. Um, we're in the midst of a salt surge here, and they've actually shut the barriers, trapping us in the marina. Yeah, it'd be nice to go down, up and down the river and see if we couldn't uh, get some decent perch or decent pike. But uh, unfortunately, we're stuck in here with probably not a great deal of fish. But no. There you no. Go. But we found some, we found them really pushed up hard against the end of a basin and in the end we had quite a few small perch and I lost the pike as well, so... Yeah, that was a nice fish that was. Yeah, it was yeah. unfortunate. Well, mm. you win some, you lose some. Yeah, that's it, but no, it's been a great day's fishing. Caught plenty of small fish, nothing big, but, you know, that's fishing. Yeah, and we'll get them next time. Yeah. <laughs>